Hello YouTube, this is Charlie 426 and today we have the review of the High Grade Universal Century or HGUC Loto Twin Set. Now, uh, I actually had this kit for a few years, but I actually forgot about its existence because at the time once I got this kit and after finished building it, I had to actually move to a new house. And after moving to a new house, actually, you know, a lot of stuff have happened and I pretty much forgot about it. And after a few years, now here we finally have the review. So star sorry for the extremely long delay for those who remember my post regarding this kit. Now this is a twin set, so it's not the first time we're seeing a twin set. Uh, among the HUCs, there's also a ball twin set. So my guess is that if Bandai tends to re uh, release a very small mobile suit or mobile pod types uh, type of you know stuff or model kits, they tend to put it out in uh, sets of two. But once again, other than the Loto Twin set and then the HUC Twin Ball set, we haven't really seen any retail versions of Twin sets. I mean, for other premium Bandai stuff, we have seen some Twin sets regarding certain mobile suits. But other than that, yeah, we don't have much of those. Now, here we have the Twin set. So currently, I have one in its mobile suit form and then the other one in its tank form. I definitely find these two mobile suits to be a really extremely like unique specimen because um, the way how they were used in the series was was very very interesting. They were very tactical because they would you know be used for infiltration rather than being uh, using these mobile suits head on in turn head on directly to the en enemy battlefield. So really interesting. Now these mobile suits or this kit is very small. So right off the bat, let me just go over the height comparison. So you can see here with the standard Equos type Jagan. Now technically Jagans are slightly taller than your average mobile suit, but still they, they were a staple mobile suit in the series. So here we have the comparison. You can see much taller than the mobile suit in, in his Loto, Loto's mobile suit form. And then in terms of the tank form, even taller. So yeah, you know, uh, pilots are not gonna use this mobile suit directly into the bio battlefield. And I believe they are also used for transportation, so I could be remembering a different scene from a, a different series, but I, if I remember correctly, the, the Lotos can also carry around troops inside of it, so yeah. Now let's get components. So first of all, you get two sets or two options, whether you can have a double cannon on the on the mobile suit or you can have one machine gun. I'm not sure if this is the correct name, but according to the manual, on the front page there is a list of weapons that this thing has, so I'm going to guess that's the Mega Machine Cannon. Uh, and then the, the ones that are your typical cannon looking stuff might be the Long Cannon. There's another thing called the Machine Cannon that's something... Uh, uh, my guess is that it's this small machine gun right over here. Now you have some of these options to attach, so that's that. And then we, I believe you also have a, a surge headlight right over there on the shoulder, so that's a pretty good detail. Now for the other components, here are your other stuff. So these are stuff that you can use and, oh, actually you get one of these here. So uh, let me get rid of these small parts here. So you, you, we have these parts where it looks like a opened up missile container or a closed up version right over here. So you get some of those parts. Uh, let me check. Okay, there we go. Uh, you have your options. So here is the closed up version right over here. So you can make it look like it's closed up or if you want to open it up, uh, you can always... You can always uh, swap parts and make it look like it's opened up. Of course, if you want to be more color accurate, you're going to have to color the missiles inside. So that's a, that might be a downside to some people as well. And let's see what we got. So we, we have these black parts. So these black parts are basically parts that are on the shoulder. So if you look at the shoulder parts, you might see this part over here. You can take that part off and atta either attach this machine gun or the search headlight if you want to do so. So you get two of the two of each of these search headlights and then two of these uh, machine guns. So it's, it's really your choice. So if you want to have a double machine gun here, you can attach this. Uh, of course, the headlights are on, on a specific direction. So you, you can't really have double search headlights unless you make your own one. And then here we have a leftover cannon. So even though uh, the manual tells you there are more of an option, so you can either have two of them or one machine gun like that guy. But uh, if you want to, you can always attach because there is there is still a slot leftover slot here. So you can technically attach it if you want to do so. So you can have a cannon and a machine gun. So as you can see, this kit does uh, give you a variety of options to use for weapons. So there are some customization value here. So let me just adjust the camera. It's very low. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me just take get rid of these leftover parts. And there is one more part left, actually. And that is these, I believe they're like laser cutters as well. So, 
uh, if you look at the arm right over here there's a part that kind of jiggles around here this part kind of jiggles what you can do is you can actually take this part off I have no idea why my camera is having so much trouble focusing today and then you can attach these welders or laser cutters right over here like so I believe in the series they actually use these to cut through open walls so that's a pretty nice detail all right now since we're done with the size comparison and components now let's look at the articulation so the articulation is you know pretty standard and pretty better what you think considering that this thing is supposed to be like a walking tank so let's look at the arms so the arms have a nice short forward and backward movement on the shoulders and then you can go 360 if you want to do so oh boy and here is one of the main issues i'm having but i'll get into that later and let me just get this uh, wheeler off because it is getting in the way and then uh, you have a nice you, you get a nice bend over here this is as far as you go but i believe this is much much uh, more of a you know uh, transformation thing when you think about it so it doesn't go over much than that and then you can go to the side 90 degrees if or if you move the shoulder slightly upper uh, up and uh, you can go more than 90 degrees and you have a nice 360 twist on the arm now as you can see the shoulder it has a really good range of movement but when you're going into tank form you have to actually push this in come on you hear a click and it locks into place so there's no more movement now this part is extremely stiff so be careful not to that you're not like giving too much strength to the point where you're snapping it uh, now it is as you can see I'm even I'm struggling it struggling it to uh, unlock it so do be careful I'm not sure what makes it so tight but it works there we go Whew, that was close uh, and then uh, for the cannon for the machine gun here right over here you can it has a nice movement it can go up that much down that much and then go side to side as long as it doesn't collide with anything else and then for the head we have a nice head it can go down that much up not so much actually it does slightly go up and then 360 twist i'm not going to say it's possible because there are some parts colliding so you do have a side to side movement but that's pretty much it and i forgot to mention about the sticker sheet so here we have the sticker sheet there's not much you get two for two visor visor stickers for each head and then we get this orange extra head head camera uh, which is actually two stickers as well because you have this one right over here so you get the sticker for the other one and we get four white stickers two per unit uh, which is goes onto the chest now I personally think this white definitely looks out of place so if you don't like this you don't need to apply it because it doesn't really match I mean it's okay but I would think of uh, being a tactical mobile suit having a bright color like this is not the best idea uh, since we actually just talked about the cannon uh, you can actually push down the head to go down like that and the these cannons also pretty much has the same range of movement you can go down up side to side it's pretty much the same thing so for the head you can just push it down to go to for the tank form now uh, with the with the backpack you do have you, despite having a backpack you do have a slight movement for the, for the main body you can go side to side a little bit but uh, if you take off the backpack you can go 360 on the main body like that so that's pretty interesting so if it weren't for the tank you know transformation aspect you could totally make this even much more you know better articulated if you want to do so all right now the front skirts may look like your typical front skirts but no they actually open forward like this this is much more for the transformation so let me so the legs as you just guys just saw it, it definitely popped out so the peg here is just extremely short I wish they could have just you know made a longer peg so it doesn't fall off that easily granted they have these extra t-shaped you know pegs and then holes for that but they they're not enough because the main connection is just not too tight enough so I mean it works but if you you know shake it a bit or sometimes when you're trying to you know pose this it will pop off time to time now the ball joints for the legs were very tight to the point where I'm now having stress marks so do be careful I actually sanded down the ball joint so hopefully it won't snap on me or at least while filming this so the legs can go oh boy forward about 90 degrees and then backwards not so much because it is colliding and it's not really moving that well and it popped off again so oh boy for the legs let me just move this for the front so once you have it forward you have a nice bend going on here uh, but not not the best bend as well and then these tank treads do not move and then here we have the feet the feet only the front section it actually works and you have a pivot here and then you even have a a toe bend which I don't think was really necessary for this mobile suit now despite this articulation right over here it's not the best stable articulation because the backpack is pretty heavy 
and it's really hard to make this guy stand so yeah I, I keep constantly uh, making him fall now here I have him standing but it's very unstable it's more f looking forward and balancing the weight distribution so not the best all right so we've seen the basics of the Lotomosu form now let's look at the uh, tank form which isn't much so as I mentioned you can lock the shoulders into place and that's pretty much it uh, you can still move the arms but once again if it's in tank form you want to have it look forward because it's gonna it's not gonna make sense uh, I do wish the legs would lock into place or at least they would snap into together but that doesn't really work for this one but not the biggest you know issue here and now the backpack it's really tricky to transform transform the backpack because uh, they were originally in this shape so you have to like move things move like a few parts downwards and then flip a few parts and the manual doesn't really do the best job explaining that which I actually but basically just took everything off and then re rearranged them and that's pretty much it I do like the tank form definitely has that tank profile uh, and the bowls are also pretty good it's not just it is a walking block but they made it work basically now uh, as you guys saw comparing with the Equus type Jagan it is a very small mobile suit and the fact that this can't this is having some you know balance issues I would not recommend this to a first timer definitely not recommend it to a first timer but if you are into these type of like small mobile suits or small tanks or just tanks in general I would recommend you this uh, and since you get two of them and you do get a variety of option parts uh, there are there is some customization value here as well and that's pretty much it for the review now sorry I can't really give you much more detail because if it's a kit that I haven't just if I didn't just finish building I'm gonna have uh, like trouble remembering a few details here so if I miss anything else do let me know Anyway, that's pretty much it for the review. This was the review of the HGC Twin Loto Twin Sit. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave them comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.